I've been playing with iOS 12 for a little bit on my iPad Pro here, and I found a few interesting features that I thought I'd share with you. You can now completely use the iPad with no home button. So I wanna show you how that works. So to get in, it says press home to open. You don't have to do that. You don't actually ever have to touch the home button. Watch how I do this. With a quick gesture swipe from the bottom, I can open it just like on the iPhone 10. I'm gonna show you that one more time. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna turn it on with the power button. Keep in mind that that's the home button right here, not clicking it. I'm gonna swipe way over there and go right on in. So you can definitely now use it without touching the home button. Up here at the top, you will notice that the status bar has been separated to the left and right. And if you go here, again, left and right, making it to where if the iPad were to have a notch, all of the information would be separated to the left and right side of the iPad notch. The next thing that I have found is that to enter multitasking, it's no longer a swipe up, but a swipe from the corner, just like it is on the iPhone 10. So let me show you how that works. Basically, you just go down here to this bottom corner, swipe up, and you're now inside of multitasking. It's really simple and it's really interesting. What I also found is that, let's say I open a few applications, I'm gonna, no, I don't wanna do photos. Let's open a couple apps. I'm gonna open the calendar. I'm gonna open contacts. Uh, I'm gonna open news. I'm gonna open voice memos. I'm gonna open stocks. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna jump into one of these apps and we can just quickly flick across the bottom just like on the iPhone 10, we can flick across the bottom and it's a little messy and inconsistent uh, right now, but I can flick through applications just by dragging my finger across the bottom. And it doesn't always work, it's a little finicky at the moment, uh, but the implementation is there. So you can just kind of open them up and go between recently used applications. And you can close applications like this. So you just pull up and go home. A quick flick up will take you straight home. And it doesn't matter what orientation you're in either. So if I'm in this orientation here, a quick flick up takes me directly home. It does not summons the dock like it did in iOS 12. To summon the dock now, you must be inside of an application and gradually pull up. So if you pull up quickly inside of an application, it automatically takes you out of that application. So clearly there's some changes being made in the event that we are getting a new iPad Pro. Also, you now swipe down from the right-hand corner to bring up the control center, just like on the iPhone 10. You'll also find that there are some new features here with the Do Not Disturb and all of the 3D touch gestures and stuff are inside of here just like they have always been. It's just now found up here in this top corner, which I found interesting. So a lot of the iPhone 10 features have made their way across. And to close applications, you can now just quickly swipe up on them, just like you can on the iPhone 10. So they've definitely made some major changes here that really indicate that a new iPad Pro is coming without a home button that will be bezel-less and include Face ID. There's nothing in this particular update that just absolutely gives that away, but I noticed that was one of the new features. Another quick thing I noticed is now you can do Hey Siri very quickly. You'll see it pulls it up and it's very quick to respond. There's no lag time. Let's show you that one more time. Hey Siri. You don't have to have your hands anywhere near the button or do anything like that. The other thing that I found out is Siri can now control some of your actual preferences for physical hardware on the device. So you have been able to enable settings and things before, but it can now trigger the LED flash. This isn't really an iPhone 10 feature or anything, but I thought I'd include this in some of what I found so far. Hey Siri, turn on my flashlight. Okay, I turned on flashlight. Look at that. The flashlight pops on on the back of the iPad and you can turn it off just the same. Hey Siri, turn off my flashlight. Okay, 
Okay, I turned off flashlight. It works very quickly, and there's also a few other Siri features. I'm not gonna go into Siri features. That's gonna be a future video. I just thought that that was pretty interesting, some of the stuff that I've run into so far. Another iPad change that I noted pretty quickly and they may have done this in iOS 11, but you now automatically get the 16 by nine aspect ratio when you go into the video camera application. Whereas before, I believe it used to fill up the whole screen in iOS 11 and you had to double tap to get into full screen mode. Now you double tap to get into full screen mode uh, as opposed to it being the other way around. So I just thought that was interesting. The last feature I wanna show you is inside of settings. So when you go to settings, general, and software update, there's a new option that says automatic updates. And I thought this was pretty interesting. So you can tab into here and toggle on automatic updates. So next time you get a software update, it'll just update automatically and it won't even ask you. It'll just go right on to the next version of the operating system. Now, some of what I've shown you already also can't be disabled. Inside of multitasking and dock, it just has old gestures. It doesn't mention any of these new gestures that I showed you about how the actual interface works. I was kind of surprised. It just shows how you can pinch to go to the home screen. Nothing about the new swipe home. So I thought this was interesting and I thought that I would bring up this in a video real quick and mention to you that a lot of the groundwork has been done in iOS 12 to create a bezel-less iPad Pro. I'm pretty excited for that and I think you should be too. So if you're excited for the bezel-less iPad Pro, let me know by leaving a comment down below and tell me what your favorite features are in iOS 12. If you found anything super cool and you think I need to check it out, leave that down below as well. I'd love to hear some of your feedback. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>